Over 1.3 million of you petitioned to ban glyphosate in the EU and the public pressure is working. Today, EU member states delayed the vote on the renewal of the toxic herbicide until further notice. We are still working for a complete ban, but this stalling in the council, while frustrating, is a sign of resistance to the agribusiness lobby. Glyphosate is the most commonly used herbicide in the EU. In 2015, the WHO ruled that glyphosate is probably carcinogenic and it has been shown to have damaging effects on the soil and on biodiversity. This toxic herbicide is used on around 2.2 million hectares in the UK and studies have found traces of it in over 60% of our bread. So it is extremely alarming that it may be given a further license of five years or more for use on our crops. If we carry on using toxic chemicals in our countryside, we will continue to see the catastrophic declines in the population of bees and other insects that are being reported around the world. Greens are calling for a change in the way we do farming, so that we become less dependent on chemicals and more focused on creating and maintaining healthy soils, fostering biodiversity and growing food that is nutritious and natural. To do this, we should give our farmers the funding and the support they need to make the transition to sustainable agricultural methods. The UK government is still supporting the renewal of the licence for glyphosate. So much for Michael Gove's claims of a green Brexit. Who will protect our wildlife from dangerous poisons when we are no longer members of the EU? The vote by the UK government today will fuel fears that after Brexit, the UK will weaken environmental legislation and do nothing to protect our countryside or to encourage our farmers to make the transition to a future where agriculture works in harmony with nature. It is absolutely vital that we keep campaigning to get glyphosate out of our fields and out of our food. Let's keep up the good work and make sure our voices are heard.